Welcome to Category 5 Technology TV. What you're about to experience is a free, worldwide interactive broadcast from Ontario, Canada. We broadcast live every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Get your questions in. Join the community chat room at www.category5.tv or email us at live at category5.tv. And now, let's begin. Here's your host, Robbie Ferguson. It's January 24th, 2012. Nice to see you. This is episode number 227 of Category 5 Technology TV. How are you doing? I am doing well. Mind you, I was at the doctor, and I was telling him I'm addicted to Twitter. And all he said is, what? I don't follow you. Sorry. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> I, I know you're on Twitter at... at, at yeah. Kid okay. Eric. Okay. So, K-I-D-D. Yes, Eric. Indeed. I don't see a whole lot of tweets coming out of this, okay. man. Well, I'm trying to break the addiction. That's okay. it. I'm going to get rid of the Blackberry soon. Well, maybe you, could, you should tweet that, you know, should hey. Should I tweet? Hey, I'm, the I'm, show is starting? All right. Well, here we go. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Are we having fun yet? I'm using Tweetcaster. This is kind of cool. Tweetcaster? Tweetcaster works really well. Good app. Yeah, what are you using? Oh, it's one of those Blackberry just, things. They just exist one of those still? Black- hey, hey, easy now. You're one of the 7% that still use them. 7%? Isn't it like isn't it like that? <laughs> like 88% market drop? Oh, that, that was dollars and... And the CEOs and co-founders stepping down from the company? I'm on the air. There Join me. No. If you tweet, I'll, I'll retweet you. Oh, really? Okay, Cat there you go. Five TV. Uh, HTTP colon slash slash. Hey, are you on Twitter? Because if you are, are you, you should follow us. You should. Category 5 TV on Twitter. Uh, my handle on there is Robbie Ferguson. And Eric is <laughs> Kid Eric. I'm Kid Eric. I'm trying to talk and type our URL at the same time. Cat5 oh my TV goodness. Oh. And send off into the internet you know, webs. I, I hate to do this in the middle of a, a show, but um, there's We're not some really f- at the middle yet. Okay, we're not We're really kind of right at the beginning. It feels like it's going really slowly. We've been going here a long time. Um. It's been fast-paced <laughs> for the for the five minutes leading up to this moment. Oh, so I, this I had the, an email from Robbie yesterday, and I really want to want to just what share is it this? with everybody. What is what? Uh, you can't read that. I'm sorry, but... Category 5 is about to begin. Oh, has begun. Yeah, you really you, you realize we're 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 live. We're we're live okay. right now. So yeah. Okay, you're right. I'll, I Ref. promised you I'd retweet you. Uh, I wouldn't Done. bother. Okay. Follow him, follow me. <laughs> Tonight we're going to be looking at some really cool I'll just uh, be looking at my BlackBerry. You carry on. All right. We're going to be looking at some cool devices that are powered by human power. Cranks by solar power, the sun. Nice. Which is good this week with all the solar flares. Lots of sun. Yeah, get a lot of it. Never, ever have to put batteries in them. So stick around. I'm going to be talking about that. You've got some stuff coming up in the news. I'll oh, let you kind of tell us the, what's going I on. I don't have the email you sent me. It was great. You want to know what's going on in the newsroom yes. after a bit? Actually, coming up in the newsroom, the European Union proposes a law that will provide users with the right to be forgotten by internet firms. The London 2012 Olympics will create a record demand for wireless frequencies. Kodak has filed for bankruptcy protection. What? Yeah. Wow. Well, when was the last time you actually got out your Kodachrome and took a <laughs> I picture don't. with your 35 mil? I've got Instagram. You know, that, that actually surprises me. You know, I think they started the digital. Anyway, Europe's Herschel Space Telescope gives us a new look at the incredible Eagle Nebula. And Earth will be bombarded by high-energy solar particles through Wednesday. See, that's what I'm talking about. Stick around. Yeah. These stories are coming up later in the show. Yeah. Last week, I was I was really disappointed um, in a statement that you made. It, I found it very... Moi? Well, you were... You did this whole, you know, pretending to be Robbie Ferguson. But as me, you claimed that there's no such thing as androids. Eric, well, I, I just, personally, I, I took that hard. It kind of made me sad that you believed that. And you know. There's a lot of things we uh, have different uh, thoughts on, Robbie. Well, yeah, I'll just, <laughs> I can just get myself ready here. Including Adele. 
<laughs> well, okay. Well, anyway, let's just take a look. Ooh. I don't know why that hurts. I can't look. See, this is what I wanted to show you, Eric. I just... Okay. I just really kind of found it offensive that... <laughs> I believe in you. Uh, oh, I'll just cover that up. Put that back. There we go. Put that right back where you found it. Oh, my goodness. I cannot work under these conditions. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> you had your and, moment. And you know, like, I, w I was talking with young Rachel. Mm -hmm. And the two of us are quite, quite upset. You know, I get the odd cup of tea, maybe I'm a glass of water if I'm really nice. Mm -hmm. Usually I have to bring my own stuff. Krista shows up. You're unboxing donuts. You're having cookies. You're, you know, what's up with that? She was here on Hanukkah. <laughs> I mean, what can I do? She bought me a pizza cutter. What can I do? <laughs> pizza cutter. You're from Boston or something? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, you know. Okay, okay, okay. You're just well, gonna have I'm, to be I'm more gonna... strategic. I think she's got she's got her ways to, you know. Make she sure. has, she she clearly has ways. I I, I think mm -hmm. Rachel and I deserve the same kind of consideration. That's all I'm mm -hmm. saying. That's all I am saying. Happy Chinese New Year to our viewers. Yeah, that was yesterday. Um, <laughs> I guess kind of the the whole festivities uh, going on. Uh, but happy Chinese New Year. Uh, also, we've got some viewer testimonials. Uh, before that, I'll mention again, make sure you check out uh, cat5.tv slash shorty. You'll be able to vote for us in the Shorty Awards. Oh, I've been called worse. Mm. Oh, okay. All right. I'll let you uh, take it away. We've got, uh, I think, four viewer testimonials off the top there. Well, here we go. Hi. Hey. Robbie. Hillary, Eric, and the team. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Krista. Um, and Rachel. I often stumble around the net like a tech-starved nomad looking for quality <laughs> webcasts. How did I miss Cat 5 till now? South Africa is a little better than most of Africa, but still a technology desert in comparison with the West. Mm. Discovering your show was a real find for me, but the cherry on top of the cake is all the Linux stuff. Hey, cheers. You guys are awesome. And that's from Charlie in Cape Town. Charlie, thanks so much. And uh, yeah, nice to have you here from South Africa. Yeah. Very cool. Glad How's you're the, the weather? Show. How is the weather? <laughs> Oh, we don't have Christy here to do the weather? No. Um, you did a pretty good job there, so we'll move along. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and here's one. I nominate at Robbie Ferguson for a Shorty Award in the oh, thanks. web show because he has a rare, genuine, wholesome, reassuring approach and some great co-hosts. Oh, actually, he didn't say that. <laughs> to, the, <laughs> to the intricate understanding of modern personal interfacing with end users and their technical computing questions in real time. Thank you, Robbie. And that's from Leland. Leland. Thanks, dude. I appreciate that as a viewer testimonial, but I wish it could count as a nomination because you start by saying you're nominating us for a Shorty Award. Unfortunately, it has to be done through Twitter and has to be done uh, in, a, in a particular way. So you've kind of done it right. But it needs to be done on Twitter, um, not on our website. So cat5.tv slash shorty uh, would be a great place to, to go. So Leland, if, if you have a Twitter account, I'd love it if you, uh, if you could post it. If not, then I will just take that as a, you know what, a nod from you, and, and thank you very much for that. Um, and I'll expect that that means that you uh, unfortunately don't have a Twitter account. What so, Robbie's saying is that, and a buck 65 will buy him a large coffee. Not anymore. Oh. Buck eighty. Oh. oh, you know. Sorry, I, I, I know we shouldn't probably get into brands, but there there is a certain company that's really put the a boots to company. You know, um, that's really put the boots to our local Canadian company. So much influence, in fact, that they've increased the size of their coffee. It's about with our time. Little Canadian coffee company. Mm. Okay, so here's another one. Oh, good. Nice to watch your show live for the first time. Awesome. Watching your show on Ubuntu and iPhone 4. 
Awesome. Wow. And that's not uh, on the same system. Not Ubuntu on the iPhone 4. But Ubuntu and. and. Yeah, I'm just I'm clarifying. Okay. So he's watching it over here. I think it looks a yeah. little better on this than that's and cool. that's from Madi. Um in Norway. Yeah. Thanks, dude. Yeah. Wow. All right. And uh just a quick mention, uh as Madi's mentioning about using the iPhone, you can actually bring up our mobile site, mobile.cat5.tv. Uh you'll be able to actually watch the show live on demand. Cool stuff. <sighs> oh. One more, I guess, eh? Yeah. What? Nothing. I have okay. tea. I'm, it's it's okay good. to enjoy your tea. It was kind of an amber color. I thought maybe I had Sorry, Irish dude. whiskey or something. Sorry, but dude. No, no. No, it's peppermint tea. Peppermint tea. It's all right. It's all right. It's to help with the cough tonight. I, I, I'm not what, sick. You want me to start I'm coughing? I'm not sick, so don't worry. I'm not It's coughing. just like that, you know, when you have a really long day, and you just like, <sighs> my voice is just tired, so... <laughs> Okay. Well, Robbie and Category 5 team just wanted to say thanks for the recent DNS tool featured yeah. a couple of weeks ago. I have used it on mine and my wife's Win 7 laptops and have seen an improvement in response times. One note. Nice. This is probably a tool to run occasionally since DNS servers change on the internet all the time. Keep up the good work. And that's from Jimmy. Jemmy. Cheers. Or AKA G Siegel. Hey. As far and, as. And that's from North Plainfield, New Jersey. Cool. All right. Nice to have you here. As far as modifying your DNS, as per our tutorial on a previous show, um, if you pick a server that's reliable, that has like 100% reliability, it shouldn't, <coughs> it shouldn't change too often. But yeah, if you want to run it once a year, just make sure you're still getting the best performance as you can. That's a good idea, for sure. So Great there. to see so many people in the chat room. And uh, lots coming up tonight. I've got a viewer postcard that came in the mail this week. We're going to be taking a look at that. You got a um, postcard? I did. Wow. Fantastic. How cool is Thank that? Thank you. Um, so we will be right back <coughs> after this. Whether hitting the road or the dusty trails, Liquid Image Canada captures the action with a true point of view HD video camera built directly into a high quality MX goggle. It records every bit of the excitement exactly how you see it. If high octane isn't your thing, take a relaxing underwater adventure and capture it forever in high definition video with a high quality underwater camera mask from Liquid Image Canada. Perfect for the enthusiast snorkeler or the deep sea diver. Check out the entire line of camera masks for every sport. LiquidImageCanada.com This is Category 5 Technology TV. We're online at wwwcategory 5 Dot .tv. There you go. This is a cool postcard that came in this week. It came to us from uh, Angel D. Rodriguez. And it looks like it now is printed from Postagram. Have you heard of them? I have not. And Sandy, I, Eric left his reading glasses at home. I'm going to make you read it. Can you hold it a little it's farther away for me? It's white text on black. Oh, Eric, can you read that, please? Okay, yeah, sure. Greetings from Los Angeles, <laughs> it's, California. It's, it's printed on the back too, ain't Angel D. Rodriguez. Look at this. <laughs> on white. Dave Tech. Very cool. Okay. Yeah. I'll, go ahead. Greetings from Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> Los Angeles, California. Wishing all of the Category 5.TV crew a very Merry Christmas. All right, Merry Christmas. It must Christmas. have taken a while to get here. Keep, we just got this this week. Keep up the awesome work you do. You are a blessing to many of us. Mm, cheers. Dave Tech. Awesome. That's kind of cool. Let them know you got it. Okay. What I mean by that's kind of cool, I mean, that's very cool that you took it's the time way to send cool. us a postcard. But this one has got, it's got like a pop-out picture from, uh, from this company, Postagram, I guess. Cool stuff. It's just like a you know custom made cart. Cool. Yeah. Very cool. We will add that to our collection of postcards. Thank you very much. And if you'd like to send us a postcard, all you have to do is uh, send it to Category Five Technology TV, PO Box twenty nine zero zero nine, Barrie, Ontario, Canada, L four N seven W seven. We look forward to receiving your uh, postcard, and of course, we award one hundred viewer points. One hundred. A hundred. That's pretty cool. That and a buck eighty will buy you a large coffee. Oh, sure. It will. <laughs> that is true. All right. Okay. We'll uh, we'll jump into your viewer questions and uh, see what's uh, what's going on. I brought up everything for you. This is your first time using the new kind of new studio uh, layout, eh? Here. So I've got uh, you'll see for show two two seven up at the top there in a tab. 
There you go. There we go. All right. Literally, we were running before the show. Eric, how much time was there for sound check? Oh, we had several <laughs> minutes for sound check. It was the running to the desk as you were running the uh, the intro that uh, was yes. the backstage yeah. pass. It's like, hmm. Well, let's see. What do we have here? We have a question here from Shaw. Hey, Shaw. Okay. So, hello, Robbie. Hey. I just finished entering all the episodes here. And uh, that's a big, long URL I'm probably not going to read. Oh. Let's see if I can bring it up. You probably can. Keep reading. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm not going to read the HTTP colon slash slash. No, no, no. Th- okay. <laughs> Found all the old episodes, the ones that are not at the cat5.tv site here. And it's a web archive. Okay. And I have checked haven't checked all the files but i'm fairly sure they are all downloadable cool and here's something that might interest you for the news first release of open source blu-ray library nice whoa yeah i think we uh we saw this the tvdb that uh shawl had submitted very cool stuff that is oh look and he's added uh a couple more images very nice cool very nice yeah you know what I'll do is... Uh, Why well, you put that up on the website? Yeah, I'll give you a link to that on the website. Okay. Category5.tv. Look at the show notes for episode number 227. Well, here's one from Good Guy. Hey, Good Guy. And hi. This is a legitimate one from Good Guy this week. Oh, really? I think so. I use a prior version <laughs> of this software. Oh, let's go back and say which software we're talking about. Oh, okay. Windows software to sync between computers. All right. So, use a prior version of this software but have not upgraded to the new version as of yet it may be of interest since it appears to have have to have a pogo plug like feature um and there's another link okay uh Good sync. did you find that link yeah i never heard of it peer-to-peer sync okay using and here's G-S-T-P. how it works it has left beta status since it is available for purchase now thank you good guy 98 so this is something the good guy is using well, he hasn't upgraded to the new version yet. Okay. But yes. Mm. Cool. Sort yeah. of. Sort of using. Okay. I suppose we should sort of look at what it is. I mean, he's telling us about it. It must yeah. be good. Do you want to play good. with it now? No. I don't want to install it and set it up. I mean, Come that's, on. It'd be fun. What no? is it? Okay. Good Sync, version 9, peer-to-peer syncing. Sync two computers directly via your local network or your internet. So... Syncing between, say, my laptop at work and my desktop at home. That can be very cool. Cool. Kind of like Ubuntu 1 for, uh, you know, as far as that goes. But this one works with uh, <coughs> Windows, Mac, SMB, FTP, AFP, SFTP, S3, Windows Mobile. Cool. I will post a link for that, courtesy of Good Guy, in the show notes for episode number 227. All right. 227. That was also an 80s show. Oh, mm. there was a <coughs> 70s or a 60s show 70s called Room right. 222. Yeah, well, I mentioned that on episode 222. Sorry. I Did that. I hear that day? I, I may have been I here that day. I don't remember. I think it's all. I think Krista was here on 222. Anyway. Okay. Well, here's one from <laughs> Philip Holdsworth. Okay, and um, running Ubuntu 10.04. Mm-hmm. I am a Linux noob. Is that a newbie? Okay. I no watch problem. your show We're here for, for you, the first Philip. time today, and that's January 5th Cool. Um, this year. I was looking for more information about stop motion and came to your YouTube site. My question is about the MS LifeCam 720p mm-hmm. and stop motion. While the software sees it, it will not let me see any image through it. I've installed cheese and it seems to work fine. Do you have any help or can you point me in a direction for help? Is stop motion still supported? Thanks from Tucson, Arizona. Stop motion's great. Um, Hope y'all are having a good day. <laughs> did I say that out loud? You did. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if you have more than one webcam detected. That is a possibility. Like if you're using a laptop versus a desktop and you've got a built-in webcam and the life cam, is that a possibility? When uh, when I bring up cheese, here, I'm going to bring up a nice clean desktop here. I just have a webcam that's not pointing at anything useful. 
but it, it is at least it's attached at least that much is true uh let's see sound and video jeez look at that it's pointed at the wall edit preferences see device logitech quick cam pro just because you mentioned that uh that your camera is um is detected in cheese what's this okay. oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> just uh hmm i wonder how you do that because we're powered on phantom oh okay go ahead okay so with cheese see what i've done is i've checked what uh what webcam you've got here Logitech Quick Cam Pro, okay? So then close out a cheese, because if you've got it running, you're not going to be able to use your webcam. I'm going to go to, again, sound and video. I'm going to grab, let's see. See if I have it. Oh, I do. Stop motion still installed here. So in stop motion, go into the, your configuration settings, and you'll see at the bottom here, there's going to be a list of all your detected webcams. One of them is going to be highlighted, and if yours is not there, Right, you need to uh, you need to add it or select the uh, the other one. Like if this one's selected, you might need to toggle back and forth. So in cheese, remember here. I'm gonna bring it back up here just so we can see. Sorry, Eric was distracting me there. Moi, ah, are you oh. back on? I'm here. Hey, welcome back. Okay, here's what I want to note: slash dev slash video zero that's in the preferences for cheese because i know my camera works in this program so now go into your configuration and stop motion and here edit your device and make sure see in your case it might be pointing to something else right so just make sure it's pointed to dev slash video zero if you need to you can remove and add a new camera right pretty straightforward see if that helps see if you're able to get your camera connected, but make sure you close cheese before you uh, try to launch your camera in stop motion. And I think it'll work. I mean, uh, the cinema is a, a great camera, so uh, yeah, and it works great in Linux. Uses video for Linux, so uh, any, any software will be able to use that, as long as you've got it pointing to the right camera. Okay? Well, there you go. Okay. Good luck. Let us know. Okay. And... Okay, we have another one from Invincible Mutant. And this is regarding making GNOME 3 like GNOME 2. Oh. So, hi, Robbie. Hey, Invincible. I uh, just found a way to tweak your GNOME 3 better look like GNOME 2 online. Mm. Okay, so there's another link. I like Did this. you get the link? There, uh, to GNOME Shell Flippery. Yes. Okay. And... Uh, these extensions can be toggled using oh. the GNOME Tweak tool. And points out that it is fun. Definitely. You, yeah. Look at that. That's really nice. So that's a GNOME 3 desktop, but it's, it, you know, you've got the layout of GNOME 2. But it still has that kind of clean cut look of GNOME 3. You'll notice the window decorations look beautiful. Cool. GNOME Shell Flippery. Looks like uh, it's available for Ubuntu 11.04, 11.10, or Fedora 15 or 16. Very cool. I'll, uh, I'll again post the links for you. Show notes of episode number 227. Thank you very much for the link. I'd love to give that a try. Yeah. Maybe with, uh, with 11.10. I'd like to see if, uh, if it supports 12.04 in, you know, in, in the new year, uh, or in the new release, I should say. I just love the names, you know. Gnome, Frippery, I don't know. I'm just, anyway, <laughs> we have another question. This is, uh, I guess, came from the website. Um, from Benjamin Stewart. Hey, and, Benjamin. Okay, so running Ubuntu 11.10. Okay. Gnome 3, not Unity. Hey, did you know that you can get Gnome Flippery? <laughs> for for Shell Flippery? Shell Flippery. Just, just saying. Show this notes. Sounds like we're gonna have, or we're gonna have some really or, good links. Or maybe, on this yes. Mm. Um, so, Ubuntu 11.10, GNOME 3, not Unity. The question, in layman's terms, smile. <laughs> is this telling me to smile? Okay. <laughs> What's the easiest way to record both inline audio and microphones simultaneously? Imagine you were talking to a six year old when you give this answer, please. 
<laughs> yeah, he say that. Well, exactly. Yes. You're no, not I, telling I, me. I would say. never go out on a limb and suggest <laughs> that you talk to Benjamin like a, he's a six-year-old. Um, well, Benji. Well, I might. You know, it just depends can, on... Can I call you Benji? <laughs> Oh, I'm just kidding. Okay. You, you started this, Ben. So. Yes. <laughs> All right. Sorry, I got sidetracked. Talk to him like now you're not I a 50-year-old. Record both inline oh, audio sorry. and microphone. Easiest way? Honestly, a little disco mixer. Right? Because if you're plugging in two... You're plugging in a microphone and a line input device, if I'm following you right, to your, mi- to your sound card. You're only going to be able to record from one or the other at <laughs> at any given time, unless you've got, you know, like a. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. What you need is some some manner of mixer anger. that's going to plug into your. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Into your MIDI card, I guess, or your sound card. Not even card MIDI. Or, okay. We have. I don't know if I can do this. There's some manner Backstage of mixer. Backstage pass. So you will can you bear adjust with me? the uh, the levels on each of your inputs. You could mix in. Heck, you can mix in all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Some background music, some of Robbie's ramblings, uh, maybe <laughs> some of Rachel's. It's a, it looks like a lot of junk. Maybe right? some Rachel giggles when she snorts through her nose on Mixer. The camera. No. This has got quarter inch and uh, XLR outs. The XLRs are converted over to quarter inch and uh, down to, I guess, what, eighth inch. And then they could just go into the sound card. So we can plug in any number of... Uh, of microphones, any number of devices that are supported by our mixer, our console. You can mix the levels, you can get it nice and clean, and uh, and that's really the best best way to do it. Very cool. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. Other than that, I mean, because you, you've got a microphone and a high high impedance device as well so you have to have something that's going to mix those two together you've got to have a some kind of external mixer but you can get that said you can get like usb mixers yeah there's, you there's a lot of stuff available lots of stuff available i just go in through the eighth inch line input works really good how do we sound yeah. Sing a song. They know. You want me to sing a song? Last time I sang a song, you caught me on camera with a pink guitar, and you uh, put it up on YouTube or somewhere. No, I, I didn't put it up on YouTube. I put it up on Twitter. Oh, okay. Twit. Oh, I mean, you tweeted. Yeah, sorry. I, I did. Know. Yeah, and it was it was amazing. It was special. But only those who follow <laughs> at Robbie Ferguson on, on Twitter are going to see this kind of stuff. Oh. Yeah. Well, maybe you should show the folks how. Well. <laughs> maybe not, eh? Okay. Well, we took a little road trip out to a music store in Angus, Ontario, and and he says, here. <laughs> what a guy. What a guy. Anyway. Handed me a guitar. It was, that's entrapment. <laughs> <laughs> ah, dear. Okay. More reasons to follow us on Twitter. Folks. Hey, we have a... More reasons. We have a question yeah from yacht hey jot <laughs> <laughs> robbie and i do have difficulty agreeing on pronunciations but mm. i should just mention because uh, pyrus rock is asking yes the video does have sound but you have to follow me on twitter to hear it wow okay Sorry. okay no. jot Want, wants a wants a link to the <laughs> <laughs> that, that fabulous guitar playing yes, in the show notes. Yes, okay. Right. <clears throat> well, here's a question from Yashua Yacht Avarius. Okay. And this is a question related to an answer on episode 226. Oh, of course, I wasn't here that day. Uh, hi, Robbie and other friends. He has other... Okay. <laughs> I had some difficulties in episode 226. The screen looked very different from usual. For example, Robbie actually looked good for a change. However, I was able <laughs> Thanks, to understand Jot. that you had a solution for moving my mouse to the right side of my screen. If I understand it correctly, it involved moving my desk. But my <laughs> mouse isn't on my desk. It's actually on my computer table, which is standing between my desk and Semantics. my computer. Semantics. Or did I only get half of the answer? And was the other part move the desk and then the computer table 
also since you recommended i get some friends to come and move it because it would be too heavy for me alone can you please come over and help move things maybe you can also help move my printer i don't use it anymore and so i'd like to get it out <laughs> of the house it only weighs about 70 or 80 kilograms oh or so. so that shouldn't be a problem no joke it's one of those very old laser printers that is built like a i know the copier kind. from the late oh. 1980s P.S. If you want to come, I hear you can crawl through the internet tubes. So see you soon. Greetings. Yacht. All right. Thanks, Jot. So is it Jot or Yacht? Jot or Yacht? Yeah. Uh, I'd say it's in the Netherlands. I'm thinking it's Yacht. Cause Are you watching us on Backstage Pass? Make sure you get on to Backstage Pass right now. I wouldn't. <laughs> We have introduced a new feature to our backstage pass, which allows you to actually vote. Is it Jot or is it Yacht? You tell us. Let us know. Well, Jot. Okay, we've got two for Jot. We've got one for Yacht. That would be him. <laughs> <laughs> two for Jot. So, you know, I, I'm Jot. in the lead. Come on, people, work with me. Does nobody know anybody from the Netherlands? Mm, yachts and my the friend's way. mom, what Joanne. They all called her Yo. We've called this guy Jot for I don't know four years. And 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 Rachel can't say it without the <laughs> underscore J O T underscore or, or whatever it. Uh, <laughs> We're tied. It is. Okay. It's it's <coughs> Jot Yacht. It's Jot. Look at see. We start calling him Joshua. <laughs> <laughs> Avarius. Okay. It's, it's a various. All right. Thanks, everybody. It is Jot by 55.56%. Okay. Uh, do we have time for a few more questions? We don't. We are out of time. Oh, come on. We've got to have time for one more question. Just for now, we don't. Just, just, we can okay. come back if we have time we don't. at the end okay. of the show. Yeah. But uh, take it away with the news. We'll talk about, uh, about uh, well, we'll see if we can get your viewer questions in after, the, after our feature this evening. I know he's he's pushing. I'm having trouble. I, I can't move the mouse over far enough. Can somebody help me lift you this can desk? Lift the desk. Okay. Lift the desk. All right. Well, here are the top stories from the Category Five TV newsroom. Thank you. <clears throat> A new law promising internet users the right to be forgotten will be proposed by the European Commission tomorrow. Hmm. It says people will be able to ask for data about them to be deleted, and firms will have to comply unless there are legitimate grounds to retain it. A spokesman for the Justice Commissioner clarified that the action was designed to help teenagers and young adults manage their online reputations. The move what? is part of a wide-ranging overhaul of the Commissioner's, uh, the Commission's 1995 Data Protection Directive. Well, you know, and I know this, you don't have teenagers yet. I know teenagers sometimes post things they ought not Here's to. Here's the thing. A wise tweet once said, you can never regret what you don't say. You can't regret, regret so what you what, don't post. But what this isn't... I know, Robbie, you were a perfect child, and when you were a teenager, you never did anything young or foolish. I posted However, some foolish things to the I board. I have uh, some teenagers, and one in yeah. particular who, you know, had a great band trip to, to uh, Italy and... <laughs> Decided to post pictures of themselves. Yeah, yeah. Having beverages that might not have just been what mm. you'd call a soft drink. I see. And got several days off school as a result. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Oh. So, yeah. And, and so actually, you call the government then and you say, uh, I want that delivery. Uh, I was yeah. partying it up after <laughs> band practice and I was wondering <laughs> if you guys could like tell Google to delete that. Like, come on, guys. Really? That was a very condescending tone of voice you were I wasn't using saying that. that's what your son that, sounds that, that like. That was very, very, you know, and we know where you live, so I'd be cautious. Um, <laughs> oh, boy. Ah, it just seems foolish to me. We, I don't know. I'm you know, and, uh, and a friend of mine who works with the police services board says as soon as somebody puts in an application, they go and they check their face sure. show and they oh, check yeah. their other stuff. So, yes, uh, you know, you're probably of the, uh, the abstinent school of thought. However, most people... You know, have trouble with that, and you know mm -hmm. there, there there needs to be some, uh, yeah, I precautions to... taken. I'm sure you ought to suggest that in advance. But does every teenager listen to that? Yeah, I know. I don't know. Read what you're going to post before you post it. Look at the picture before you post it. 
I mean, I post pictures of him with a pink guitar. I mean, that's that's pushing the envelope a little bit. Well, you know, worse things have happened. <laughs> um, you know, as a matter of fact, somebody posted this on my Facebook this? the other day. What? <laughs> Can you imagine? I kind of like it, but... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so delicious, it? delicious randomness. That was. Complete. The London Olympic and Paralympic Games are likely to require up to 20,000 separate wireless frequency assignments, according to the communications regulator Ofcom. Okay. The organization 20, says 20, that that is nearly double the number of licenses that it granted for the city over the course of last year. The regulator says it approved 12,505 applications in 2011, has already received 10,000 requests covering the seven-week period of the Games, but expects that number to rise thanks to the event being the biggest media event in history. No, 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 no. No, this is the biggest media event. Yeah, come on, people. Ofcom says it has built a state-of-the-art spectrum assignment system to prevent interference between the variety of users, but adds that it uh, is deploying about 90 radio engineers to deal with any cases that do occur. Further detail will be provided when the plan is finalized within the next few weeks. So Interesting. we may pick that story up again in a few yeah. weeks. We don't always think about how much work is involved behind the scenes and just making sure we have wi-fi and phone service hmm. okay and a sad story eastman kodak the company that invented the handheld camera has filed for bankruptcy protection the company has recently moved away from cameras to focus focus really, <laughs> really? come on nice pun with competitors who were quicker to adapt to the digital era rupert goodwin's editor of the ZDNet, or ZDNet if you're south of the border here, website said Kodak made all its money from selling film. Then the digital camera came along and now no one's buying film. It's not like they didn't see it coming. Kodak hesitated because they didn't want to eviscerate their business. The move gives the company time to reorganize itself without facing its creditors and Kodak said it would mean business is normal for customers. Hmm. Wow, that, that is... Uh, yeah, that's that's something. It's just one of those inevitable things. I still but have a little brownie three camera, mm -hmm. the little Kodak box that you had the little black and white rolls in. Well, these days, yeah, these days, like if you want to do pin style photography and that kind of stuff, people are using Instagram, okay. right? Wow, which is just an app. Did on I mention I don't have my reading glasses? Well, okay. <laughs> so it's just an app that you you know take a take a picture with see if i can do it are you following me on twitter make sure you do because you're gonna see this oh, man <sighs> yeah i installed instagram uh our, our old friend tyler steingard um who you remember from season one of category 5 tv he said you gotta check out this app for all your photos because it makes it so that you can post a picture and it looks like it was taken with one of those old oh, 100 year old kodak uh cameras so give me a smile okay that's perfect I can't hold it forever, man. <laughs> well, I got it. <laughs> All right. Okay. So now with Instagram, what I'm going to do... Uh-oh, the, the Maple Leafs are trailing one to nothing uh, Oh dear! against the Islanders. You can add these different filters down here. So you could do like a Lomo-style camera, right? There you go. <laughs> Sorry, you can't really see that, and we get pop-ups. But okay. there's a Lomo-style. So I'm going to post it like that. Just to be real quick, you can add all kinds of effects, blurs, things like that. Did you say all kinds of defects? Or? Defects. Okay. Defects. <laughs> You're so literal. I know. I know. I'm terrible. You're such an adult, Robbie. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was... There we go. It's tweeted. Done. Okay? So check out... Uh, Instagram. I just say that because it's the technology is is really making it hard for a company like that. Yeah. Who, 133 year old company. Oh, you got my message. There we go. There you go. How would you? Well, how would you continue to to survive when people don't buy film anymore? So, anyways, I'll let you uh, continue on with the news. Okay, Europe's Herschel Space Telescope has produced a majestic new version of a classic astronomical target, Ooh. the Eagle Nebula, also called 
M16. This dense region, I, can I try that? Can I take another run at that? This dense region of gas and dust, some 6,500 light years from Earth, hosts copious numbers of bright new stars. Oh, Look copious. just below the Good. center of the image, and you'll be blind for the rest of Oh, no. And you will see the columns that were famously dubbed the Pillars of Creation oh, yeah. when they were pictured by the Hubble Telescope in 1995. Yeah. Look at the difference in clarity. Wow. Wow. But Herschel and Hubble see distinctly different things in the nebula. Hubble is sensitive to optical light, the kind of light we detect with our eyes. This is easily blocked or scattered by the dust and shows us merely exactly, just like you'd have to be an expert to tell the difference between that and <laughs> that, and shows us merely the shape of the billowing clouds of material. Herschel, on the other hand, that's this one, is sensitive to much longer wavelength radiation in far infrared um, this enables it to detect the emission coming directly from the cold gas and dust that cloaks so much of the region this picture is being featured on the bbc series stargazing live that might be worth checking out definitely that's interesting wow earth is being bombarded by. <laughs> that is not earth <laughs> Moments ago, this image was released. <laughs> this just in. <laughs> okay. Maybe. Try, try okay. to keep up, let's, Robbie. Let's start, the, let's start try that to one keep over. Up. Little less emphasis on the word ever. <laughs> <laughs> Little more emphasis on the word solar storm. All right. Back to you. Earth. <laughs> Really, what is Earth? Is being bombarded by a high energy particles unleashed by the strongest solar storm since 2005. Hmm. The chart, did I? Yeah, the picture was makes the sense emphasis to me. on the right <laughs> spot there. Okay, the charged particles are mostly a concern for satellites and astronauts. They hmm. can also cause communication problems for aircraft traveling near the poles. The geomagnetic storm has been caused by a flare that erupted from the over, from the over past a, I'm going to take another run at that and maybe edit the uh, copy here, uh, caused by a flare that erupted from the, <laughs> over the past couple of days. I'm going to remove that. Okay, so this was caused by a flare that erupted over the past couple okay, of days. we got that, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Who does the copy editing here the effects are likely to be felt on earth throughout wednesday this can interfere with technology on earth such as electrical power grids communication systems and satellites co-hosts including satellite navigation signals but a spokesman for the u.s national oceanic and atmospheric administration space weather prediction center said the effects of this solar eruption seem likely to be moderate <laughs> Thanks, Eric. <laughs> yeah, you can get the full stories at Cat <laughs> Category 5.tv Newsroom. The Category 5.tv Newsroom is researched by Roy W. Nash with contributions by our community of viewers. If you have a news story you think is worthy of on air mention, email newsroom at Category 5.tv. For the Category 5.tv Newsroom, I'm Eric Kidd. I hope you're having a good day out there. Eric mentioned that uh, the solar flare does affect co-hosts. You've seen it live. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight's show is brought to you by GardenGateFarms.com. For certified organic broccoli sprout and wheatgrass juice, check them out, GardenGateFarms.com. Also, Planet Calypso, Cat5.tv slash Calypso. You can download the free online massive multiplayer online role-playing game. I said that wrong, but you know what it is. Cat5.tv slash Calypso. And, of course, get your free 5 gig. Pogo Plug Cloud, cat5.tv slash pogo plug. Check them out at cat5.tv slash pogo plug. Thank you, Eric. All right. Lots to talk about tonight, but uh, one of the things right. that uh, we try to be here at the show is and, on time. Well, <coughs> that too. <laughs> but you know that uh, from our website, we have an actual page dedicated to uh, what we do to try our best to be eco friendly. And uh, one of the things that we do is, you know, we use, uh, we recycle a lot. We, we always recycle batteries and things like that. But now we're stepping into this new product line from Freeplay, which is, in fact, um, a product that it has batteries that are rechargeable. 
built in, but you never, ever have to replace them, which is interesting. So we've got uh, a fair bit of their line here. I'll just kind of really quickly show you. This is the, uh, the Keto. Hmm? They're cool things. Flashlights. Can we, can we play with like it? that? Yeah, absolutely. Does it make a lot of noise? Yeah. Mini Actually, Sherpa. it's pretty quiet. Not too bad. The Sherpa LED. And they, these are great. Here we go. Straight in the packaging. Hmm. I like this. Did I not crank it up? Oh, look at that. <laughs> Here, give this a try. I think I broke it. Oh, it's working. Oh. It doesn't look he cool. turned it on, pointed it at me, then turned it off and looked at it. Oh, well, there we go. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. So you got to Scotty kiss. Okay, check that out. So they've got these. They're they're flashlights Does and things. Do not know better than to give me toys? I know they're not toys. Here's the thing, uh, Freeplay is a global leader in uh, in these, you know, dependable, sustainable kind of devices. This is so cool. I mean, it's a crank, right? It's got an alternator in it. But you've, you've probably had a flashlight where you've yeah. had need of a battery. Battery's died. It's not a good situation. Yeah. You need it. So there's that situation. There's also situations, you know, where, you know, certain parts of the world, it may be hard to get batteries. These are great for that. But for us, okay, let's, let's open one up here. Okay. We'll get these out of the way. This is the, uh, the Indigo. And I had it up here, but there are two different colors available. I thought indigo was a dark blue. No, that's indiglo. <laughs> no, that's on the watches that put their arms at mm. 10 and 2. Okay. <laughs> right. Here we go. Uh, they, they carry radios. They do uh, flashlights, as you see, lanterns, uh, as well as mobile power, that which I'm going to show like you in just a second. a great little camp like that. This is a great little camp light, but here's, here's the thing. Okay, charge it up. Somehow I don't picture Robbie roughing it out in the woods. Here we go. Okay. He got lost on his way into the wine cellar. <laughs> <laughs> the neat thing about this, okay, got a flashlight. There you go. Which is actually quite bright. Turn the studio lights on. No. <laughs> And it has a dimmer, so it's actually, here, you can give that a try, but it's actually a dimmer. So these LEDs get brighter and dimmer based on, on that. So that you never have to change any batteries in this. You never have to change a light bulb. They're very bright. The cool thing about this one is it's got USB charging as well. So if you have a computer, you can do that. Mm -hmm. Cool. This it's been suggested, uh, is my favorite. We not make that whirring sound. It's an Somebody awesome whirring sensitive companion. Aww, uh -huh. this is the companion. This is my favorite one. All right, there we go. I'll tell you why. This is the greatest thing. If I can get out of the packaging here, there we are. Okay, a couple of things about the companion. It has an AM/FM radio. Hey, we could get the Leafs game on. Uh, we probably could. Six forty yeah. a.m. It's fantastic. It's got but the. We're antenna. not gonna, are we? No. <laughs> Copyright laws as they are, it's a terrible thing. Check this out. This particular one, the companion, has a power output for the alternator that will charge your cell phone. Wow. All right. So when you think about the the potential behind, yeah. you know, your cell phone's dead. You're in a bind. Car won't start. Never mind, you whatever. got no batteries, but you got your little generator. Yeah, so this one's got the alternator. Right? <laughs> it's got <laughs> solar power, which is going to charge the battery, right? And I mean, they last for a good long while. <laughs> I know you're wishing the battery were dead in my Blackberry. I didn't turn the. Uh, I was getting your tweets. Here's the thing charge time. If we were to use the alternator for one minute, I'm going to get 20 minutes. Of use, of, out of this. Of radio, radio. Um, what about shine charging time, your the actual light. Uh, charging your other built -in battery. flashlight too. Thirty minutes of flashlight time. That's pretty. From cool. one minute of cranking, and it goes up from there. Twelve hours of radio time for ten. Uh, uh, oh, that's that's USB. It's got a charger for USB as well. But how cool is that? So what's neat about this is, um, well, it's self-sufficient energy, right? Yeah. You, you buy something like this, you think about over the course of the life of a flashlight, I think about the cottage, the van, the van is horrible because you, here in Canada it gets cold over the winter and so you lose the batteries that are in your device. 
So you have to replace mm-hmm. them. Yeah. So and like you regularly. didn't really even get to use them if they left really? them in the cottage over yeah. the winter. They but you have up. to change yeah. them. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, it's just not going to work and you want it there for an emergency. So here is really the perfect emergency option if it is dead, which this one I don't think ever, you know, you're going to keep it on a windowsill or something at the cottage. It's always going to be charged. It's going to be there for you. Yeah, it's got the sun yeah. solar panel. And I love that it charges my cell phone. Yeah. Or if you're going for a hike, a good backpack trip, you've got... Sure. Some it's got a headphone jack as well, if yeah. you want to listen to tunes. And um, you can charge your cell phone. Their intention really is to be able to provide energy products to everyone all the time. So you never have to worry about batteries. You never have to worry about, oh, does the flashlight have batteries? Is it is it charged or whatever? Because even if this was completely dead, I can crank it up for 60 seconds. And I've got a couple, you know, long time of flashlight power, right? Yeah, wow. Really cool stuff. So the life expectancy of the product itself. Well, I would think until you throw it at something. Yeah. I mean, it's you can tell from the feeling of that. It's built well. Yeah, it's a it's good robust little uh, product, as yeah. are these other, uh, other stuff. Yeah. lights. So that's pretty cool. So we actually have some information for you, because this is kind of one of those products that I think is, is just, it's a logical thing. It's like, um, you just doesn't make any sense to buy a flashlight with batteries anymore hate to say it but really it's like this is the way to go um cat5.tv slash free play f-r-e-e-p-l-a-y okay check them out they've got a whole line of products very cool stuff and like i say it's all self-sustaining power I really like. I really like, like that. that. Yeah. But there are several people in the chat room who aren't enjoying the sound over the uh, oh well the, uh, condenser mics. <laughs> <laughs> you be careful. I'll hold it right up there. Okay. So, uh, cat5.tv/freeplay once again. Please check them out. And uh, like I say, the companion is is just an amazing product. They're a good price, and uh, I encourage you to check them out. Cool. So there. Yeah. Mm. Very cool promised uh, we could take a look at viewer questions if we had any more time. Um, do you have them ready for us? Chat um, room, anything for us? Well, let's see what we have. We do have some more questions here. Awesome. Hey, everybody. We've lost I'm pulling them. up the chat room there for the first time tonight. Nice to see everybody. Ah. Oh, I seem to have lost them. Where did I? Hey, Mike Lyowa. Huh? Oh, did you? <laughs> He's moving around. Right. Oh man, yeah, let's, let's take a look. Here. I lost my, lost my mind. I need to find this guy, a technician. He's open, open for Firefox. Hey, I did not. I think you closed it. Sorry, guys. Hi, Christy. If you had a question, he closed it. He closed <laughs> I your question. I did not close it. Yeah. Chat room. Okay. <laughs> okay. What are we hearing in the chat room here? Oh, it's so good to see everybody. Get your questions in live at category5.tv. Hey, Christy. Well, Greg and... Oh, Rachel Zhu. Nice to yeah. see you. Um, I wonder if Rachel knows anything about that. Is this the Christy? The Christy? Oh, I think it is. We, we mentioned the weather earlier. The weather. <laughs> Greg in Texas wants to know if there's a firewall enabled by default on Ubuntu server. 11.10. Unsure. Unsure. But it does have, uh, you know, has access to it. But pop question in the uh, in the forums. Um, Ubuntu server firewall. Yeah, it's Google, right? Oh, Garby said UFW. something, but I didn't read it. UFW. You can go sudo UFW enable to turn it on. Christy. Burton slash Van Noort. Nice to see ya. It is her. Well, there you go. We're like, we're right out of time unless somebody's got a Are good question Are we really out of time already? Can't be. Garby had a question, but he's accusing me of not uh, doing it. Uh, I've got a question here from, uh, from Jonathan Garby. Uh, says, Overlord and person in co-host seat. Person? That would make me... <laughs> okay. Could you show us how to run a mail server? Oh, with six minutes. On our local Absolutely. system. Absolutely. Yeah. Run a mail server on our local system that would utilize our mail server from our host. 
Example, I run a mail server, so the PHP's mail function will work. Oh, postfix is all you need to install. Um, let's see. Jump into oh, terminal. Okay, so I'm pretending that this is just your, your system that you're using to test things. You're not, this is not a publicly accessible server, okay? Because this is not secure, you're behind a firewall, we're making that assumption. Uh, postfix, okay? So just like that. Enter your password. I'm installing PHP 5 and postfix. That's going to give me mail, postfix, and it's going to give me PHP 5 Apache, giving me the ability to host websites. Go into my slash var slash www, which doesn't exist yet. Okay, this is the post postfix configuration that's come up here for you, Jonathan. I'm just going to hit OK and choose Internet Site. OK. System mail name. Doesn't matter. This is just our test system, right? Okay. I'm trying to get ahead of Apache just because we've got three minutes left of the show. It's still installing. Postfix is unpacking. Okay. What this is going to do, it's going to let you do exactly what you want, PHP mail from your Linux computer so that you can test things. Very nice. So that... Uh, it actually sends out. Okay, I've got a var www now, which was created by the Apache installation. If you do a ls, there's an index.html. That's what I see when I go localhost. Okay, it works. So I'm going to rename that. In Linux, move, I need to go sudo move, because it's var www, index.html to index.php. So now, I have an index.php. Of course, you're going to have your own website. That's fine. That's done installing. I can close out of that window. Okay. sudo gedit index.php. Okay. There's the, the website. Put your mail function in there. Right? Notice I'm not gonna I'm not gonna add any headers. You can put your headers here, which you're gonna need because Jonathan, you were asking about being able to spoof the fact that this is coming from your main mail server, which is not, so you need to add headers to do that. As it is, it's just gonna seem to be coming from my computer. So now I'm gonna refresh localhost. <laughs> and it wants to download a file. That should work for you, Jonathan. With the time that we have, I don't have time to, to check my Apache configuration. Under file two or minutes. Like that. But, oh. No, that's not going to make a difference. So, postfix installed on your computer. Then you can do the mail command, and it should send out just fine. So, very, All right. very clean. But that's unsecure for a public server. You're going to need to get into some more sophisticated installations if you want to do more. All right. Give it a go. Let us know how it goes. Well, yeah. I need yeah. to take one of these home with me. I do. <laughs> That's all the time that we have. Boy, oh, boy. I'm I made it through. stick around. I made it through. Yeah, you only coughed about I got three times. He didn't share the candies. Uh, I have cold not tea. Not candy. Krista. I got cold tea, too. Gets donuts I and know. pizza. It was cold. What did Rachel and Eric get? The donut was room temperature. Eric and Rachel get no candies, no donuts. <laughs> Hi, Rachel. Oh, okay. Well, have a fantastic week. Eric, it's always a pleasure having you here. Thanks it's for being here. always a pleasure being here. Mm. Right, and I got a raise this year. I give you a 100% raise. 100%. That was really good. <laughs> All right. Thanks for having me. Take care, everybody. Have a great week. <laughs> See ya. 